So it's officially Hispanic Heritage Month and I wanted to take today to celebrate and recognize two Latina women that have been part of my journey since the day I was born, guiding forces in my life and my business, and integral to the woman that I've become today, the first of which being my mom. <laughs> Love you, mom. Before she got married, her name was Marta Leticia Ruiz Gonzalez, and she was born in Matamoros, Tamaulipas in Mexico. And I just have to say that raising me was no easy task. I came out of the womb pretty much kicking and screaming, throwing tantrums from day one, wanting all the attention, all the control, all the things to revolve around me. And this woman <laughs> showed me how to redirect all of that energy into a positive, fulfilling outlet. I remember she used to give me phone books to rip when I was feeling really overwhelmed by all of this like pent up emotion and rage about whatever didn't go my way that day. And I would rip up the phone book per her suggestion, being like, okay, yes, I can release this energy in a healthy way and then get back to my day to make it a little more positive. She showed me how to redirect and reframe and be more resilient when it comes to you know, life not necessarily going the way that you want it. It's so powerful to think about how far I've come because of her, because of my mom, because of the things that she's taught me, because of the unconditional love that she's showed me. My mom's the best person I know. And uh, I can't thank you enough for all of the moments that you trusted my intuition and my guidance when I wanted to do things. So when I wanted to quit basketball because I threw up on the basketball floor because I didn't eat anything the, you know that morning or whatever. Like, I wanna quit, okay, let's quit. Or I wanna start gymnastics or I wanna start dance because I'm feeling called to that. And following that because she knew that my intuition and my decision making was so strong and she never questioned that for me. She never doubted my ability to make decisions for myself. And I think that's what's made me such a decisive woman today, knowing that what I want is what I want. I know deep down what is right for me. And it's because she showed me not to question myself as a kid. And that's honestly when our intuition is extremely strong is when we're a kid. The second woman I love to celebrate and recognize is my own Abuelita Blanca. And she is the mother of my mother <laughs> and also the first entrepreneur I ever met. The fact that she was Latina and also born in the 40s in Mexico tells you something about this woman, regardless of what society told her to do or not do. Like she wanted to go to college and her parents didn't want her to. She had kids. She became a wife and also started a business when she was able to. The fact that she could integrate all of those things into her life as you know, an older generation Mexican woman has me feeling so inspired for anybody that might not have you know, the, the cultural background or the financial background to pursue their dreams super easily, but know that it's still possible because if my abuelita Blanca did it, you can do it too. She taught me my first lesson in business as well. I remember being in her shop on one of my vacations when I was a kid and I asked her, I was like, Abuelita, why do you charge more than you pay for these items? So like artisanal craftsmanship items like necklaces or pots and you know things like that or kids games. Like there was a lot of really cool things in her shop. And she said, well, if I need to pay for rent, if I need to pay for the lights, the water running, then you know I should charge a little bit more so I can cover that, right? And I was like, yeah. And then I should probably charge more after that if I wanna take any home for my family or for myself. And I was like, oh yeah. And so she's like, you always have to make sure that you're charging enough so that you're not in the red. And that was my first lesson in business. I might've been seven years old at the time. And because of her, I have a lot of great foundational business skills, seeing how she did it. I wanna say thank you to both of these women. And I also wanna celebrate you and your lineage, no matter if you're Latina or you're not, I want you to know that you matter. Your differences make you who you are. I remember feeling so insecure about the fact that I spoke both English and Spanish when I was a kid. And I didn't think that that was anything that special. But my abuelita always used to say, that's what's gonna get you more jobs and more opportunities is being bilingual. And so whatever makes you special, whatever makes you different, know that that's something that you can use to your advantage. And I'm celebrating you from here. My abuelita is celebrating you from afar. And my mom is probably celebrating and high-fiving you too. We are here for you. 
and I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your Hispanic Heritage Month. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.